doing a full face of Chanel Beauty in a makeup look that is what I would describe as warm memories. I stole that name from the eyeshadow palette. It's supposed to be kind of fresh, feminine, glowy, all of the above. Every day, easy, but still packs a punch. Soft, yet bold, but something you could really wear day to night. It's so easy to do too. You'll see, keep watching. It's a special day when I have my skull head coffee. I can't even begin to tell you how incredible these Le Lift Flash Eye Revitalizer patches are. Got my Chanel headband as well. I'm going to start with the Le Lift Night Cream. And I know it's clearly morning, but it is a really nourishing cream that's just gonna pump up my skin. <laughs> clearly I've been using it. I've got my little Chanel paddle. Take a tiny bit. This cream is so luxurious and smells like heaven. I'm using the fresh water tint for my skin and I have to confess, I completely wrote off this product when I used it for the first time because I had no idea how to use it. This is the consistency, it's super liquidy. Ooh. And instead of blending it first, I put it straight onto my face and I was sort of like, it's not enough coverage for me, it doesn't really work because I didn't blend it. Let me do that now. It's running all over my hand. Ah, I have to be quick. This is the Chanel Beauty foundation brush. Okay, come back here. It is so lightweight and it really does look like skin, but better. Now I'm using my favorite product, the Le Corrector de Chanel Concealer. I finally got myself a new one. Onto the eye bags. Wherever I get shadow or redness. I'm just using the same Chanel foundation brush just to move it around my face. I feel like professional makeup artists are very, very light-handed. Is that a word? A very, very gentle. I am pretty rough with my face, <laughs> but I think maybe I need to just be a bit lighter. I'm gonna use the warmth of my hands to blend this out under my eyes. It's time for my favorite blush. This is the Water Fresh Blush and I'm going to be using Intense Coral. Once again, it's got the flecks of pigment in there and a very watery substance. <laughs> now this is a Chanel powder brush, but I'm gonna use this as a blush brush you can see. Oh, this one's super pigmented. Whoa! When they said intense coral, they weren't lying. Just gonna keep blending. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> 
think I went a little OTT on this one. Okay, note to self. <laughs> With intense curl, just one pump is required. But you know what, this is fine guys. If ever this happens, just fix that right up. Some extra concealer. I really should have known from the state of my hand that the color was going to be really intense. <laughs> I am going to set my face using this Healthy Glow Sheer Powder. This is the brush. Oop. That's what it looks like. I'm going to use this Chanel powder brush. Just swirl the product in there. Concentrating on the under eye area, chin, forehead, T-zone essentially. It's time to work on the eyes and I'm going to use this eyeshadow. <laughs> I'm going to use this eyeshadow liner coal. <laughs> It glides, baby. I'm doing it quite messily because I'm going to blend it all out soon. Don't worry, guys. Same thing goes with the lower lash line. I'm taking this jewel ended contour brush. I'm gonna use, wait, yeah, this end to just buff it all out. It just sort of smokes everything off quite naturally and effortlessly. Hooded eyelid girl problems. Such a frustrating thing when that happens. Truly. Just gonna do the same here. Okay. Next, I'm using the Multi Effect Quadra Eyeshadow 354 Warm Memories. To use the word devastating is an understatement. I was carrying too many products and, okay, she looks okay from here, but then I can't even tilt this upwards. I smashed my beautiful palette, but still usable, okay? <laughs> so we are going to dip into this one here, this one here, and this one here too. Just run it along the eyelid ever so gently. I almost cried when I just saw this brand new palette just shatter before my eyes so I'm determined to use it so her life wasn't in vain the colors are just beautiful now I'm using this fluffier eyeshadow blender brush number 204 and I'm just gonna dip in a little bit more <laughs> Really take it up high.
Is there some way to put Humpty Dumpty back together again? It's all crumbled. Is there some secret method to have it all stuck together? Terrible. If there's ever a tragedy in makeup, this is it. Okay, now I'm gonna take this contour khaki crayon and intensify over the top lash line once again. She's coming together. Next, I'm gonna do something special. I'm going to lacquer up my eyes using the Ombre Premier Lac 33 LeMay Bronze. To shake that up first. Ooh, that's what it looks like there. Just going to ooh glide this bad boy over my eyelid. I'm going to use this eye contour brush just in this super light peachy color to just make the inner corner of my eyes pop highlighting the brow bone if there's any droppage then I just use my fluffy brush and run a bit of this healthy glue sheer powder number 20 but I do not really seem to have any droppage um professional <laughs> hardly while I'm here I'll just dust over one more time because it's quite sweaty here in Singapore now for the lips I have pulled out a whole host of colors here <laughs> it's a Chanel Bonanza and while I was thinking red I think I'm gonna go completely the opposite and just go to my typical nude because I just feel it always looks the nicest. I'm gonna try these on my hand first. So that's this one here. Okay, that's beautiful. That is the Rouge Allure Ink in 140. Then there is the Rouge Allure Lac or Lacquer. I don't know how to pronounce that correctly. It's um, number 84. So that's this one here. Ooh, it's a lot more intense. I think I'm gonna go with the softer shade today. I feel that Chanel Beauty is always just, it's not too overdone. And yes, you can use a lot of pigment and bold colors, but it always looks so classy. I'm going to use the rosy light drops, which I love. Oh, I always pump out too much product and I never end up using it all. Just a little bit of highlight. It's not that I really need it because this water-based makeup is really hydrating. Chanel products are elite in that they smell deeper divine. I just keep adding it onto my face because I don't want to waste it. <laughs> I love how this turned out. I really do. Do you know what I'm super stoked about? Is the fact that I did a full face of makeup and I love it and I did not do a cat wing. Okay, cat wing is my security blanket. I need it to feel confident, to feel good about myself. <laughs> and yeah. Just feel this makeup looks very dewy, fresh, summery, summer glow. Come on, synonyms. It's just lovely. 
I don't say so myself. Well, this is the finished look. I've got my gold Chanel earrings happening today. I will definitely be recreating this makeup look. 100%. Merci beaucoup for watching all the way through to the end. Appreciate you. Love you.